Hello students. Today I am going to take up the next poem from the textbook Hornbill. The title of the poem is The Laburnum Top, composed by a very famous poet Ted Hughes. Now let me give you a brief introduction about the poet. Ted Hughes was an English poet, translator and children's writer. Critics frequently rank him as one of the best poets of his generation and one of the 20th century's greatest writers. He served as poet laureate from 1984 until his death. Let's move on to the poem now. This poem, The Laburnum Tree, presents a reciprocating or mutual relationship between the laburnum tree and the goldfinch bird. Laburnum tree is a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous seeds. But this tree really looks very beautiful because of its uh, yellow flowers on its branches and due to its hanging yellow branches it is also called as uh, golden chain tree and goldfinch is a small singing bird with yellow feathers on its wings so the poet has tried to uh, show the relationship between the goldfinch bird and laburnum tree and what is common between the two their yellow color let's move on to the poem stanza one the laburnum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen now in this stanza the opening lines give a description about the laburnum tree the poet says the laburnum top is silent here laburnum top is referred to the top part of the tree and the tree is standing quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight so the month which is shown is september september indicates autumn season that welcomes winter season autumn is the time uh, when the leaves of the trees turn yellow in color so time is afternoon and few leaves have turned yellow and all its seeds have fallen means all the flowers have fallen here in these lines the poet has used yellow color for September sunlight since it is afternoon and the yellow leaves of laburnum tree. So we can say that these lines depict stillness, quietness and silence around this laburnum tree because there is no movement or disturbance on this tree. Stanza 2 Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end. Then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt, she enters the thickness and a machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She stokes it full, then flirts out to a branch end, showing her barred face identity mask. Students, kindly pay attention to the difficult words used in this stanza. Twitching means sudden jerk movement. Chirrup is the word which is used for the repeated high-pitched sounds made by birds. Startlement means feeling or showing sudden shock. Abrupt means rapid. Chitterings again it is uh, the word which is used for uh, the sound, chattering sound. Tremor of wings means involuntary vibration of the wings. Trillings again a sound word which is used to produce a chirruping sound trembles means the vibration or to shake and thrills means a sudden feeling of excitement in these lines the poet says the silence of the tree is broken with the sudden arrival of the goldfinch bird as soon as the bird arrives at the end of the branch with a chirrup now here a twitching chirrup is referred to sudden and quick movement and the sound of the bird. Now suddenly and surprisingly the silence of the laburnum tree changes into uh, noise and movement caused by the goldfinch bird. Then she abruptly enters the thickness of the branches just like a lizard. Here thickness is referred to the dense part of the tree. And she is compared to a lizard in terms of action because she is as quick and alert as a lizard. Children, you must have seen birds. They are very protective for their baby birds. And they always keep an eye on the surroundings. They are very alert and cautious. And so is the goldfinch bird. Due to the movement and arrival of the goldfinch bird on the tree, 
uh, it appears as if the machine has started up why because uh, the young ones who were waiting for the arrival of their mother now they are filled with excitement and they start creating noise on the arrival of their mother they start chirping and they start flapping their wings and with their chirps and movements the whole tree comes alive and it trembles and thrills it is the engine of her family here it is referred to the goldfinch bird and why is she compared to the engine because uh, when the fuel is given to the machine it starts working and it produces sound in the same way when the bird arrives on the tree she feeds her babies she stokes its full stokes word is used for feeding to feed so she when she arrives on the tree she feeds her babies and after feeding them flirt, she flirts out to a branch end she moves briskly to a branch end showing her barred face identity mask now in this line it is shown that her dark colored striped face is visible because uh, this goldfinch bird is yellow in color but it has a black spot on her head so her dark colored striped face is visible as her body is yellow colored and hides behind the yellow leaves of the tree but just because of this identity mask because of this black color she is visible on the tree stanza 3 then with eerie delicate whistle chirp with springs she launches away towards the infinite and the laburnum subsides to empty in these lines it is shown after reaching the end of the branch the bird makes eerie delicate whistle chirp with springs means uh, eerie means very weird and strange so she makes a sweet chirping sound just like whispering and after that she flies away towards the infinite means sky here infinite word is used for sky and it again makes the laburnum tree silent and dull as before that means after the departure of the goldfinch bird the laburnum tree again becomes silent dull and lifeless so that was the end of the poem now let's discuss the central idea This poem describes a mutual relationship or reciprocating relationship between a laburnum tree and goldfinch bird as i discussed this in the introduction of the poem so what do you understand by mutual relationship that means give and take right when you get something from someone and you give something to that person in return that is mutual and such reciprocating or mutual relationship is beautifully depicted by the poet in this poem wherein it is shown the laburnum tree gives shelter to the bird and its young ones whereas the goldfinch bird takes away its dead silence right thus the poet in the poem wants to tell us the importance of living with each other and helping each other now look at the construct of the poem the poet is ted hughes theme of the poem is reciprocating relationship message is we should always try to understand the importance of each other in life and form is free verse since it has no rhyme scheme or no pattern it is written in free verse and poetic devices are alliteration like in september sunlight uh, silence still there is a repetition of consonant sound so there is alliteration in these lines and all the sound words like chirrup chitterings trillings um, tremor in all these words onomatopoeia is used and sleek as a lizard in this line simile is used because there is a comparison using as in the first or the opening line the laburnum top is silent quite still in this line personification is used because human qualities are given to the tree another poetic device metaphor is also used wherein uh, the goldfinch bird is compared directly or assumed as engine or machine that is metaphor so this was all about the construct and poetic devices of the poem